Well, here it is, quarter of ten. Had another cup of coffee. It's endless. I've been told to get it out as much as I possibly can. Not my opinions and ideas, but that which I get as I wait to my spirit. I had this recorder sitting right here. Can't stop the flow. I thank you, Father, for it. So let me get into that, what he's saying right now. Today with the news, as you will, if you watch the news, some don't watch the news, he put blinders on, pretended everything's going good. There's nothing wrong. Everything's honky-doy. I understand that. Who wants to watch the news? Most people don't even watch it. If you have people that go out on the street and you ask people questions, you find out how little they know. They don't want to know. And they wonder why the world's going the way that it's going. We're commanded to watch and pray. To watch and pray always that you might be counted worthy to escape those things that are coming upon this earth. Well, what is it that you're trying to escape? If you don't know, how would you know? you got to know. And you got to know that there's a choice to take what you see on the left or the right of this now road or look up to something that's up the road and off this road in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. I have labored and others have labored in enjoying that labor. Sometimes you wonder if you labored in vain because it seems to be less and less that could hear it. But you keep putting it out there because you're commanded to. What won't you be if I don't? I can't live with myself. I have to put it out there. Few views, few hits, few comments. Every one of us are getting distracted either by putting blinders on, pretend there's nothing wrong, don't want to know, or you see it and you react, but you always recover. Thank God we can recover. We got recovery. Recover. Don't be caught up in this debate, taking sides, left or right, of any issue. Trying to interject your opinions and ideas. Wait. Wait to your spirit. Listen to it. Watch and pray. Understand. And there are those that want to stay here. I said, you want to stay here? Do you really know what's going on today? I know it's been good in my past. I had good days. We had good moments. But not so good that I want to stay here. So in a temporary world, why would you want to stay in a temporary world? Well, you think God's offering something that's eternal, and we hang on to that which is temporal. So it's something to consider. Just these brief thoughts. As I'm sitting here, reflecting on what would the Father want to say and do through this vessel today, you got to ask the same question. What does the Father want to say and do through you? Well, first you got to watch and pray. See what you don't want. Take a look in the mirror at yourself. Submit yourself, therefore, to God, and you resist the devil. Face that fact. I'm, I've been putting out videos. I, I can't stop. I have to keep putting out. More so now, as we see that day approaching. But scoffers don't believe that. So, I have to just keep keep doing what I'm doing. So, I just finished downloading one video. Got another one and getting ready to download. And I got one after that, and then I'll have this one. And there's more. Get out as much as I can. And we do this without neglecting our responsibilities in this life. The other day I cut all the grass, trimmed the yard, took care of some matters, I should have taken care of it as my home. I'm retired, so I don't have to worry about going to a job. But I take care of my responsibilities of my life. I just had my sister pass away down in Texas. Had to deal with that. Then you get all kind of reactions on that. And you just, I know, you, you, you continue on. 
And you hate going there because you find out that those people aren't ready for none of this. They're not ready for death. They see it as an enemy. No. There's something beyond this life. My God, the hope we got. Do I grieve? Not as the world grieves. She knew the Lord. She wanted to go home. She'd been going through a lot of sickness. She persevered for the last 15 years with any sickness in and out of the hospital. But it kept her close to the Lord. Strange, people don't understand that. They got blinders on. There's birth pangs to this life. And they're increasing beyond some prophetic religious idea of birth pangs. Understand you could, you could have birth pangs throughout your whole life. You're in the womb of this experience and you're getting ready for your birth as you get older. Some younger get those birth pangs earlier. It's just... I mean, you, you, sometimes you lack words to share this stuff. But you wait on the Spirit, He gives you the words. So I, I just put it out there. Sometimes I'm puzzling, I'm scratching my own head because I, I get this input. And I'm saying, Father, what did you mean by that? Well, you ask, seek, knock, keep on asking, keep on seeking, keep on knocking. For those that keep asking, keep receiving, those that keep seeking, find, load. The answers to all your questions keep coming and coming and coming. It goes from a sentence to a paragraph and you can write pages and books. It's it's beautiful. It's endless. Anytime I got a question, I ask him. And I wait every period of time. Sometimes you don't get it for days, weeks, once, sometimes years. He has to uncleanse his heart to prepare you for the answers that he can give. And you don't go looking to other people, places, and things, getting your opinions and ideas, left and right of, the, of an issue. You wait to your spirit, and it comes. And it's beautiful. The answers he gave can't be compared to anything you may have ever heard. They're clear, and it's specifically geared to you and your experience. may not be the same for others. But they get their experiences, and God gives them their answers. So look to your father. He's the best teacher that I've ever run across. I've slowly gotten rid of my heaped-up teachers in my past. Only I, th I know a few of them that said this to me. Don't look to me. Don't look to any man. Look to your father. Wait to your spirit. He'll give you the answer. I thank God for those individuals. They were good tutors. They didn't tutor me to them. They tutored me to my father. And it took me all these years to now wait through my spirit and listen to my father. It's the most beautiful things you could ever hear.